And these are uh, book lice and bed bugs. These here are the light book lice, sucking lice, biting lice, are uh, bark lice also, are all in the same order now, called the Socodia. These are the common head louse, human head louse, the lice and the knit, which is glued to the hair shaft. There's a little cover on it that gets popped off when the first instar nymph pushes its way out. And this actually isn't a book louse, this is a chicken body louse. And a person had posted these pictures, and I sent this back, uh, showing that uh, you have this particular louse, and she said, oh, by the way, we have chickens outside. So, that was good. And here's some book lice, they're very distinctive, long antenna, and a whole upper lip is an enlarged upper lip on any of the book lice. And this here is a lacewing larva, which will, is very uh, helpful in the garden, but they do bite when they come in and they'll get on you for no reason. They want to taste you. So you can just put them outside. And thrips, sometimes thrips will bite you too. These are the noceum flies. Every time people have bites, they say it must be noceums because they didn't see anything. But, no, but it's not. They're not. They're sometimes bites aren't bites at all, and uh, they're they're just a skin reaction. These are just comparison of bed bug instars to a poppy seed, sesame, flax seed, and apple seed. This is a small apple seed. Um, these are uh, oxalis seeds, misidentified as being bed bugs. 